I'm gonna show you my first trick. And my first trick is to actually create a fixture that is a test fixture. So I'm gonna type in manufacturer, me, James, then name, channel test, display name, can just be test. And the difference between name and display name is the name is what will come up when you are searching the fixture library and the display name is what will display on the buttons that you assign that fixture to. The ESTA manufacturer ID is actually for fixtures that are enabled for remote device management and that's like a two-way protocol for DMX. If you don't know what that is, it really doesn't matter. Um, for 99% of cases, you don't need to fill this out. There's not a hell of a lot of fixtures that have RDM enabled. But anyway, if you want to Google for RDM DMX, then you'll find a list of manufacturers IDs in hexadecimal and model IDs in hexadecimal. So that once this profile is loaded, the console will know when something responds with yes, I am here on the network then it will know that this personality is to be linked up with that fixture. But anyway, for this, we absolutely don't need to worry about that. So you see here, I just double, I selected history and I just double clicked created and it's automatically put the date in and it's saying created today. The manual, yeah, sure. I'm not about to copy paste the manual into it for this. Physical. For this particular fixture, it doesn't matter at all. Now, attributes, we're going to add a dimmer channel and I just double clicked dimmer and it appears in the attributes here. And then I'm going to add another one and another one. And basically I'm going to add, let's say 14 dimmer channels, 14. Okay. So we have 14 dimmer attributes which means that I want to make one fixture with 14 dimmers. And the reason for this is while we're making the profile in the personality builder, I want to load up my channel test fixture into the console so that I can actually change values and double check what is in the manual is actually what the light responds to. So now, because it's important that I actually know the DMX value, the function that I want to assign to this dimmer is raw DMX. So the reason why is I want it to go from zero to 256 and I want to actually be able to jot down in my little notepad or punch into the personality builder exactly when, for example, it goes from open to the first color, exactly what that DMX value is. So I'm just gonna go through and add a raw DMX range to every dimmer. There's probably a way to copy and paste this, but yeah, whatevs. So now if I click on the dimmer the, and we're on properties down here, we can see that the attribute group is intensity and that it is indeed a dimmer and that it's eight bit. And on the wheel, it's gonna say dimmer. So this is good. And then if we go to our function range we can see here that it's going to display in raw dmx uh, dmx start zero dmx n 255 this is good value to zero decimal places that's correct because we just wanted to display zero to 255 and then on top of the wheel it's going to say raw dmx so this is all good now you might think okay we're done but no, we're not because all we've done is we've told the personality builder what attributes we want this fixture to have. Now we need to actually create a mode. And as this is like a, a virtual fixture, it's a non-existent fixture that I'm making for testing. I'm just going to put a standard mode. And then if I click on that standard mode, you'll see that all my dimmer channels here come up. So I need to add into the standard mode all the dimmer channels. So I can just go along, double click them all. Okay, so now we have our 14 dimmer channels and in the order that we did it, 
you can see here channel offset is one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically this is saying that if we patch this channel test fixture to DMX channel one in the patch, then it's going to go, the first channel is one and then up to 14, which is exactly what we want. Now for this simple fixture, which is a great introduction on basically how to get around the GUI, um, we don't need to add any macros because there's no lamp on, lamp off reset. And we don't need to add any palettes because they're all just raw DMX value dimmer channels. So now also under attributes, what's a good idea is under the wheel name is to just give them a number. So dimmer one, dimmer two, and so on and so forth. So now our, our wheel names match up with our channel offset so that we're clear on when we're adjusting a wheel, what channel it actually is. So now the last thing we need to do is go to the wheel mapping. And remember I said, this is where we get unstuck. Now at the moment, if you tried to load this personality up, the console would not want, know what to do because there's 14 dimmers assigned to the dimmer wheel. So we just need to drag them across, doesn't matter where, because actually uh, Titan doesn't seem to care what you place on the wheel. You can place anything anywhere. I don't recommend it, but it's cool that it does let you do it. And for something, a hack like this, it's, it's kind of handy. So now you see we've got all white, no red. If there's red, it means your, your personality is gonna have an issue. So now we need to save as and you see it's automatically called James Channel Test. And we need to go into our documents and then into Titan, which should be in your My Documents folder, and Personalities. And the reason why you wanna save it there and not on your C drive in the Titan installation is because that way they're gonna get all mixed up with all the standard fixture profiles and you really don't want that. You wanna keep yours separate so you can back them up, you can share them, you can copy them. Uh, it's much easier when they're in that separate folder. It will work in both folders, but I also believe if you do a fixture personality update, they will get deleted if you put them on the C drive. So much better to put them in your My Documents folder. On the consoles, it should be D personalities, but on the PC suite, it's in the My Documents folder. I believe that's correct. Please somebody correct me if I'm wrong and uh, I'll put an annotation on the video. So now what we need to do is open Titan, Titan one. Uh, this is what these Titan one dongles are amazing for. They're really, really great for this kind of stuff. And the reason why I'm using the Titan one dongle is so that I can do the screen capture for you guys. As I said, it's much easier to use a real console and then build the personality on a separate laptop. I just find it's much easier that way. So now we need to go into the patch fixtures. And remember I said the manufacturer was James and bingo, there it is, channel test. And we made a standard mode, so there it is. And quantity one, line one, address one. Yep, let's go ahead and patch it. And now if we just escape out of the patch and select the fixture, we can see here in the attribute editor that all our channels are there and we should be able to go through and see them all, which we can. Okay, so dimmer one, according to this spec sheet is pan. And if you have a look at the fixture and I give it a bit of a pan, yep. You can see that that's good. Now, dimmer two should be pan fine. When I say dimmer, I mean channel. Channel two should be pan fine, which you can see it twitching there. Yep. Three should be tilt. Yep, that's all good. Now, four should be fine. Four should be fine tilt. And yep, I can just see it twitching there. Hopefully you can see that in the video. Five is, five should be pan tilt speed. So let's put it on the slowest. 
and go back to Dimmer 1. And if we change 5, it should catch up. Yep. So we can see that the, the speed is working correctly. I'm just going to point this on the wall so that you guys can see in the video. Okay, so let's go back to it. Six should be dimmer. And yep, seven is shutter and strobe. So there we go. Let's go back to six and have a look. Check the dimmer. Yep, oh, beautiful. Look at those lovely gates. <laughs> the default focus, yes. All right, uh, the next channel eight should be, according to the manual, the color wheel which, yep, it is, and yeah, we've got half color steps there. Let me just focus that, because that's like super annoying. According to the manual, focus is channel 13. So let's see how she goes. Interesting. So the gobo wheel should be nine. Yep, that looks correct. The prism should be 10. Yep, that looks good. The prism rotation. Yep, indexing, rotating, looks good. Frost should be number 12, so there's dimmer 12. Yep, frost looks good. Focus, we already tested. And then 14 is basically control functions. So we should be able to get it to reset if we take it to a DMX value of 180, it should go to lamp off. So let's try that. Ooh. Boom, and there's lamp off. So I can confirm now using my little test patch that all of these, at least the channels in the manual are correct.